So what your money can buy, out of the box you got a nice carrier bag or cover case and inside you get your Acho tent itself on the outer material you got an instruction booklet and you got the metal pole which is in a separate bag and you got some garden packs to hold it down in the soft soil yep and that is my wife just pretend not to know me at all quite a lot of uh, metal poles that you need to clicks together but at least you don't need any screwdriver or power tools or anything like that how hard could it be right so let's let's start putting this thing together all right so the reason why it is so heavy is because all these are actually made of metal and i have to say the welding is kind of like average the paint job as well is kind of average i won't say this is a premium product but i guess you'd be the judge of how good or how bad this is for your money now each of the pieces have number on them so there is some kind of a numbering system you got all the straight pipe there and some of them have like you know base so those are the contacts with the ground and now i'm just going to shut up and start building this all right so now you got your first frame as you can see this is going to be taller than me and i'm 6'1 so i'm going to lay this one flat now some of these ends have a black cap to cover it to stop it from damaging the um, cover so i guess you need to take them off for um trans so you need to take them off for installation and put them back on for transportation <laughs> Okay, and that's it. That's the skeleton of your shed. I am 97 kilos, so I trust this thing. Okay, now what do we do? sure it will get blown a bit but that's the whole point of testing it right so this so this is the roof and it runs along here like that hold on there's a bike zip does it have on the other side But we'll see on this side, so this is the back side. So it needs to be like this way. Yep. Pretty sure of it. Well, it's good that there's no sharp edges or else this is the rip oh, okay come on get dressed okay you don't look well without any clothes on Okay, let's have a look inside before we finish off all the tying up so you guys can see what needs to be done. All right, so we're inside. It's very spacious, loads of space. You've got two air vents, one here and one over there. 
Now inside the tent, you got like Velcro on your main uh, horizontal beam here. And then you got Velcros that you can strap onto your vertical as well. And at the bottom, you have this uh, strapping um, thingy, which you tighten it down and you can see how windy outside at the moment. It does get really hot right here and today is really, really windy. And all the side is flapping about. Right, so I'm just going to, so I'm going to finish building this and then uh, come back to show you guys the end result. Right, so it took me about 45 minutes to quickly put this together. So I'm not sure what you guys are going to be using this for, but if you don't have space to put your bike, and um, this is what this advertiser is for. You've got double zip in the front here, which is easy access. Does it have anything to hold it up? Oh well. I might could do with some Velcro on here, but anyway. And the bike go in. I reckon you can put like, you know, four, four bikes and you still have space. I mean, on the advertisement itself, I think uh, they were showing Sometimes they put like wood locks in it. I guess it's just a little bit of uh, dry space on your land that you might want. Okay, at the moment I have the air vent opened. So that's for air circulation, so you don't want to have like too much condensation in the inside of tent sometimes all right let's come in so yeah so this is my uh, electric bike and i can still walk around comfortably just for a bit of a shy size comparison so i'm inside the tent right at the back when it was half built the wind blows on it it really kind of rattled oh actually i forgot i forgot even to I even forgot to Ralco this part down. I had to do it with one hand. That can be done. Yeah, basically just like that and it Ralco it. Obviously you have to do all the way there. The light still shines through a lot. So it does get really hot in here. But yeah. But that's it. Thank you very much for joining me on a Sunday afternoon in London. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.